I made a video a while back called Nobody Owes You Nothing. And I stand by that to this day because nobody owes you nothing. So if you find yourself working at a company or a business and you've been there for X amount of years and now you disgruntled because you believe that they owe you something, no, they do not. You get what you negotiate, period. I stand by it. But it got me thinking because I was thinking about that video and I was like, you know something, the opposite <laughs> rings true as well. So for any of you guys, you know, who are coming up on some money or you are prospective money getters, meaning, you know, like your business is starting to take off or, you know, you're doing your thing in terms of sports and the scouts are looking at you and they think you're going to go to the league or if you've had money for some time. You don't owe nobody nothing. Get it in your head now. Let me be the one to help you because trust me when I tell you, unless the person's name is mommy or daddy, or if you grew up in your grandparents' house or a family member's house that provided shelter over your head, put food in your stomach, you don't owe nobody else anything, nothing. So when people are coming to you, and trust me, they will, because everybody follows the first law of the land. The first law of the land is self-preservation, period. Self-preservation. Cavemen followed that law like they wanted to preserve self. And people are going to come to you and they only are thinking about themselves and them, their self-interest. And they're going to hit you with these sob stories. And I mean sob, um, sob stories that are going to make your heart bleed. And, you know, they're going to tell you, look, I, I'm, I'm being dispossessed. I got an eviction notice. I'm about to lose my car. They're going to come, you know, my kid just got locked up. I need bail money. It's going to be all kinds of craziness. And they're going to put their problems, their weight on you. And if you don't say yes, if you are not shelling out and shelling out and shelling out, they're going to make you feel guilty. He changed. She changed. He's Hollywood. She's Hollywood. Oh, they forgot where they came from. Get out of here with that. The Bible says be a cheerful giver. Be a cheerful giver. Give with no expectation of return. And if you don't find yourself in that situation that I want to give, I, I want to help. Here, let me help you. If you are giving just so that people won't talk about you, if you are giving just because you will feel guilty if you don't um, do it and you know that this person's going to run around town running their mouth about you, keep your money. You might as well just keep it and, and, and feel okay about it because it is okay. They didn't, you know, people kill me. They actually will put pressure on you to give them money that you earned. You earned, not them. They wasn't there helping you do whatever it is that you did to get the money that you have. And now because they know you, oh, we grew up together. I've been knowing you my whole life. You my first cousin, whatever it is. You don't owe them. Oprah said, you know, she used to suffer from this thing called a disease to please. Like she really wanted to please people. She didn't want people talking reckless about her. So she gave and she gave even when it didn't make her feel good because people only think about themselves. Let's just say you have 50 people, 100 people in your circle. And trust me when I tell you, there's going to be a ton of people. It's going to be all of a sudden you're going to know thousands of people. But let's just narrow it down to 50 people. If 50 people come to you once a year, just once a year with a sob story, they only see themselves. They only see themselves asking, I only came to you once. But they don't see the 49 other people that have knocked on your door, called your phone, sent texts and all of that good stuff, hitting you with these stories to the point where you're like, I just can't help no more. Matter of fact, I don't want to help no more. 
And, you know, I would tell you, you are obligated to take care of your family. You are obligated to take care of your children. Nobody else. If you choose to help anybody else that is on you, God bless you. But don't do it out of a sense of guilt. Don't do it out of a sense of this misguided loyalty or people making you feel like all of a sudden you're not the person that you know yourself to be. Get out of here. Do it because you want to, not because somebody else is putting that guilt trip on you. Hope this helps. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.